ratios, tables to graphs. This is a digital lesson. So it starts on slide two with a table and students need to determine whether this table is proportional. So they're given the X and Y values. So what they need to do is move these red circles around yes or no. So we're checking for equivalency. Is one to four equivalent to three to 12? And students are going to move the circle around, yes. Is one to four equivalent to four to 36? And so on. One to 20. If they answer them all yes, then it's a proportional table. Is one to four equivalent to five to 20? Yes. And is one to four equivalent to 12 to 48? So this is a proportional table because all of the values are equivalent. On slide three, they're just gonna answer from what they did on slide two, is it a proportional table? Yes. When they get to slide four, it shows a different way to check a table for equivalency. We're going to take the values from the table and create ordered pairs that we can graph. So students are just gonna take the ordered pairs from the tables, pretty simple, it's zero, zero, one, four, and so on. Now, all of those values are here on slide five. So students are gonna meet, move these green circles. They're gonna plot these points in this quadrant one graph. So if we plot the points, we'll see what we come up with. See if it's a proportional graph. If it's a proportional graph, well, it has to be a straight line through the origin. Let's see, 312, 416. And once they have them plotted, they can see it's a straight line and it goes through the origin. Slide six just explains that. If you look at a graph, you can see it's proportional by that straight line through the origin. On slide seven, students are gonna be looking at these four graphs and determine if any of them are proportional. So the only one that would be proportional would be this one. They can just put an X there. First one doesn't go through the origin, second one doesn't go through the origin, and the last one's not a straight line. So now students have several slides. They're gonna plot the points and then determine whether the graph is proportional. So they have several of these to do. When they get down to slide 12, now they have a word problem. So they're given a little scenario of an ice cream shop and how much it costs for each scoop. So students are gonna drag each of these numbers into the correct place and make a table. So one scoop would be 25 cents. And they just move it so that it fits right in the table. Two scoops is 50 cents. Three scoops would be a dollar. Four scoops, two dollars. And five scoops, three dollars. So they just click and hold on the edge here and then they can move these into place. Now that they have the table finished, they come down here and they're gonna create ordered pairs. So what they wanna determine, first of all, is there a point at zero, zero? Well, if they look at this, if there were zero scoops, how much would it cost? Zero dollars. So yes, there is a point at zero, zero. So they're just gonna type in all of the ordered pairs. One, 25 cents. Two, cents, three, dollar, come over here, four, two, and 
0.153. They get these all from the table. And we'll move this back a little bit. There we go. So now we're going to plot all of these points. So these are all movable again. So 0, 0, we're going to plot that point. We've got 1, 25 cents. Be about halfway in between 0 and 50 cents. We've got 2, 50 cents. We've got 3 and a dollar. 4, 2. And then we've got the 5 is $3. So they can see from this graph that it's not a straight line. It does go through the origin, but it's not a straight line. So they're going to explain on the next last slide what they discovered. Is this a proportional graph and why? And how can they tell by looking at the graph? Okay, so that is a lesson on ratios, tables to graphs, digital.